Hey everyone, so Mailbox will be shutting down in a few weeks and many of us need to know where to go. So today I have three apps to replace Mailbox. Let's get started. Okay, before we get started, I have two apps to keep an eye on. Number one is Spark. This is an email app that I personally use, and it has all of Mailbox's features, including so much more. But it's currently only available for iPhone, and they say that OS X and iPad versions are on the way. Number two is Boxer. This app would have made it to the main list because it's like an exact replica of Mailbox, but it's only available for iPhone, and they were recently purchased by another company. The app should stay in development, but I'm not 100% sure. So now, let's get started. At number one, we have Cloud Magic. This app is available for iOS, Android, and recently OS X. This app features a very easy to use user interface and most of Mailbox's features except for snoozing. This app also has customizable interactive notifications, integration with Todoist, Evernote, and Pocket, along with the options to remote wipe your device of its email if you lose it and handoff for iOS users. The app is pretty simple so don't expect it to do a lot, but it works. Going on to number 2, we have a pretty new release from Google, which is Google Inbox. The user interface is really nice and has some of the features that Mailbox had, including list, known as bundles, snoozing, archiving, known as done, and customizable swipe gestures. Inbox also has a few neat features of its own, including smart bundling, pinning, and reminders. Inbox is free and is available on iOS, Android, Chrome, and the web. Finally, at number 3, we have Outlook, formerly known as Accompli. This is not the normal Outlook app and can support integrations with more services than you can think of. This app is also the new home of Sunrise Calendar, which is under the Calendar tab. In this app, we have customizable swipe gestures and snoozing, which were the two main features of Mailbox. Outlook is free and is available for iOS and Android. The Mac app currently does not support the new features. Well, thanks for watching, and you'll hear my voice next week on Friday.